What's up everyone and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today's video I'm going to tell you about why I think a money reset is coming in GTA 5 Online. Obviously, as everyone knows, there's going to be a new update coming to GT Online expected in August. Make a video on the release date soon. At least the expected release date. Uh, so, it's coming. We know it's going to be a big update. Well, it's not going to be like an important update. It's going to be big in terms of new stuff added. And there's going to be very much to purchase. A new car garage, tons of cars, guns, clothing, everything you could think of. What Rockstar normally does is their servers tend to, uh, let's just say, become shit. And before... Uh, updates before updates come out there always tends to be really big glitches uh, like I believe it was before or after there was that huge glitch uh, with the CEO building and the apartment or the garage it would be where you could get 2 million up to 4 million every few seconds I would say uh, it's more of every two minutes you could get two to four million but still that's amazing and that was the glitch that time obviously there isn't a really big glitch happening currently but you will find some and after the update there tends to be pretty big glitches out due to the servers not being as good because they just released tons of new stuff so there's uh, they're like the stuff is broken. What they normally do is after you do these glitches, they, you know, they do it, and they reset you, or they ban you, or they take your money, or any of that stuff. They can even go as far as to remove your account from GT Online, and you might never be able to play again. All I'm saying is there will be a money reset coming before or right after the new summer special DLC for 2021. Do not be alarmed though. This will never happen with car duplication glitches or little exploits. These are just things like how I said earlier where they're extremely huge to the point where you can do, you know, you can buy out the entire game with it. For example, that apartment glitch, the CEO glitch, that was out a few, I would say a year ago, right before, right after the Summer Special DLC. Lots of people who did it, everyone who did it, got money reset, except for a few people. For some reason, I didn't get reset. I got around 70 million from it. I purchased all the new cars, and, um, yeah, I never got reset. I still have a little bit of the money in my bank account right now. It's like one or two million I still saved up from it. Uh, which I don't have that much money right now. Uh, so I'm going to be grinding. Because that update is expected to release sometime around August. And I'll make a video like telling why. Uh, but yeah. There will be a money reset, a money wipe, and character resets a few days before or a few days after due to big glitches coming along and them just not wanting, you know, glitched characters and glitched money in their game because it really makes them lose money. Their money, like their real life money. Shark card purchases. There are all these big glitches and people just have billions of dollars from glitches. They're not going to allow it to happen because they're losing their profit. That's how they make their money in real life. Fucking shark cards. They're little money wanting scums. All they do is try to make money. That's why everything is so overpriced. So be careful with what you're doing. Be careful with the glitches you're doing. Obviously, like I said, duplication glitches and everything, those are always going to be okay. I have never seen anyone get banned, reset, or wiped from them unless you're extremely overdoing it. Stay in your daily cell limit and don't get detected on their radar. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe if you want more GTA Online videos coming out to daily. And that's been it. Peace.